A teenager stabbed to death in southeast Austin. And now police think the suspect may be headed to Mexico. Police were called out to the Dove Springs neighborhood just after 8 o'clock last night. By the time they got there, 13-year-old Luis Flores was already dead. KXAN's Doug Shoup joins us live from outside APD headquarters where we're learning more about this suspect. Doug? Well, Robert, we've learned the suspect is just 17 years old. Investigators say he has connections in Mexico and may be headed there tonight if he is not there already. While Austin police work with the Lone Star Fugitive Task Force to track him down, neighbors are mourning the loss of such a young life. Oh, poor dude. Patricia Matas was one of the first to see 13-year-old Luis Lopez after he was stabbed. I could see his little lame body on the floor. The cops opened the shirt up and he was full of blood. Paramedics tried but could not save Lopez. The Del Valley ISD student seen in this Ojeda Middle School yearbook photo died in the street. Maris watched the failed rescue attempt in horror. He was just laying there, limb, thin little thing. And he broke my heart. He just broke my heart. God bless him and the parents. Homicide investigators are now on the hunt for 17-year-old Roman Arroyo, who lived in the same neighborhood as Lopez. We are asking for the public's assistance in locating and taking him into custody. Police say Lopez and a couple others were at a friend's house in the 4700 block of Knuckles Crossing when for some reason an argument began between Arroyo and Lopez. They say Lopez's friends broke the argument up and left, but investigators say Arroyo went after them and attacked Lopez in the 4800 block of Cypress Bend. We do not believe that this is the result of any type of a gang activity. Or a drug deal. Since it happened, Mata says she's had vivid images in her mind, thoughts of an innocent life no, lost and been unable to sleep. Wednesday, she left an angel statue on the curb where Lopez died. It shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have happened. He was just too young. He was just a little baby just laying there. The police say they don't have any ev evidence of an ongoing conflict between Lopez and Arroyo, and they say they don't know why this confrontation escalated to such violence. Del Valley ISD says that Arroyo was not a student in their school district. As for his parents, police will not say at this point whether they are cooperating. Anyone with any information about where Arroyo could be tonight is urged to call 911. Live outside police headquarters, Doug Shoup, KXAN News.